Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to uh, you know uh, motion, concept of rest and motion. So in the previous video, we discussed some basic parameters required to describe motion of an object. So we covered distance, displacement, speed, velocity and acceleration the theoretical description and the basic mathematical formula. So in this video we are going to discuss about uniform motion in a straight line. So this the name of the topic it itself suggests that the parameters that will be involved here are displacement and acceleration sorry displacement and velocity acceleration will come later but here displacement and velocity these two things will come into play because uniform motion in a straight line the straight line thing means that displacement will be there so we have already discussed about displacement in detail <coughs> in the previous video here I will just go quickly. So displacement is the shortest straight line distance or straight line path connecting the initial and the final point. So the initial and final position of the object. Okay, It is a vector quantity. It has magnitude as well as direction. And it is measured in meters and SI units. And it can be zero, positive or negative. Okay. Because it is a vector, it can have negative value also. Velocity is nothing but displacement divided by time. Okay, So this total displacement from the initial to final point and the time taken for that displacement. Okay, <laughs> This is velocity. We have already discussed it. Also, we have discussed about uniform velocity theoretically thing. Okay, uniform velocity, variable velocity and uh, instantaneous velocity theoretically. So if you want to, you know, get, you know, you have, if, you, if you're already acquainted with this concepts, then you can watch this video. Otherwise, you can watch the previous video where I've discussed it in detail. So <clears throat> in this video, we are going to discuss about uniform motion in a straight line. So, uniform motion means that an object, okay, which is under study, it moves with a constant velocity, which does not change with time, okay. It moves with a constant velocity throughout the entire time interval for which it was observed, it was studied. It means its velocity does not change that is velocity has two parameters here okay what is uh, velocity we have discussed the rate of displacement so here velocity has two factors here first is magnitude second is direction if any one of these two things change then we say that there is a change in velocity because it is a vector quantity so such a thing is possible only if an object it moves in a straight line with a constant speed or a constant velocity okay straight line no change in direction and constant velocity okay it means it does not accelerate so this means uniform motion it means that if we divide, as we have discussed it in the previous video also, if we divide this entire duration in equal time slots, then in each time slot, this object, it covers equal distances. It covers equal distances or equal disp displacements, okay, because here it is... Uh, Velocity is under, you know, a discussion. So, displacement. Okay. 
So, displacements, equal displacements in equal time slots or equal time intervals. And here we can express this, uh, you know, this displacement and time and velocity for a uniform motion as this, okay. If there is an object moving with uniform velocity, constant velocity small v and it covers a distance, sorry, a displacement. Well, if you say distance, it means displacement. When you say distance in a straight line, it means it is displacement because it is the shortest path. When you say this, when you say distance in a straight line, it covers a certain distance in a straight line path, it means we are implying displacement. So, if you say distance or displacement, here it means the same thing, but to avoid confusion, I will write here displacement. So, there is no confusion. Distance in a straight line, a certain distance covered in a straight line is same as displacement, okay. Let me just make it clear. Suppose you cover a certain distance between two points, this is also a distance, this is also a distance, this is also a distance, this is also a distance. But here this, okay, this one, this distance, the shortest distance, this shortest distance connecting these two points is what is called as displacement, okay. We can say the shortest distance between two points, straight line distance between two points is displacement, okay. So, here to avoid confusion, I am writing displacement, but you understand when a, a object travels in a straight line path, the distance which it covers is called as displacement. So, let us say it moves with a uniform velocity v and it covers a displacement x in time t, then here x is equal to v t, okay, this. And the other expression is, suppose for the first, okay, for the first equation x is equal to v t, an object, it starts from initial position O and it travels in the x-axis towards the positive side of the x-axis. It is moving with a velocity v and let us say he uh, stops here, okay, at this point, okay, at this point, let us say, let us call it p and for this, the time duration is t, it has travelled for a duration of t. Okay, t seconds or t minutes, so let us say it is travelled for t seconds and it is travelling with v meter per second, then the distance covered during this will be x is equal to v t meters, okay, this much. Now, suppose the same object, it was at some initial point, <laughs> this which had a value, displacement value of x0, okay. It had some initial, you know, displacement when the observation started. The observation started at this point. Here, it started at the origin. Here, it started from this initial point i. From that, it traveled for t seconds and reached here at this point f initial and final position and has traveled for a duration of t seconds again and it is traveling with a uniform velocity v meter per second. So, in that case, it will cover a certain distance x will be equal to v t. So, in this case, the total, okay, the total, uh, this distance which is covered, let us say it is x f, okay the distance which it has covered in duration t while traveling from i to f. So, here the total displacement will be equal to the initial displacement x0 from here up until this point i plus xf, but xf is equal to vt here, so it is x0 plus vt, this. 
which is given by this expression. Okay, this is when there is no initial displacement, simply uniform velocity v, x is equal to vt, this is where it has some initial displacement. So, the displacement time graph for both the cases are this. This is the case where it has no initial displacement, no initial displacement, this is x is equal to vt this is the graph. This is the graph for some initial displacement x is equal to x0 plus vt which is this, this one. And as you can see we have already discussed uniform motion in a straight line. For uniform motion or uniform velocity the displacement time graph is a straight line okay, with a certain constant slope. We have already discussed it in the previous video also. The slope of this line is constant and this slope which is equal to tan theta is equal to delta x by delta t which is nothing but the velocity, okay? nothing but the velocity xf minus xi by Tf minus Ti. We have already covered it in the previous video. Okay, So, here this slope which is the velocity is constant because it is uniform motion in a straight line. Slope is constant, velocity is constant. So, this displacement time graph is a straight line passing through the origin for zero initial displacement and it starts at a certain okay value above the origin towards the y axis here the displacement axis for some initial displacement but the slope tan theta remains constant for both of them okay because it is traveling with constant velocity v okay this then uh, there are different displacement time graphs from which we can Okay, extract some information related to velocity, the uniform velocity, the nature of the uniform velocity. So, this is one. Okay. So, in this case here, both these are straight lines parallel to the time axis and this is coinciding with the time axis. So, here the slope of this line is 0 the slope of this line is 0. So, here this means the object is at rest 0 velocity because slope is 0 and it has no initial displacement the red one ok no initial displacement. Here also same thing object is at rest because displacement is not changing with time it is remaining constant. Object is at rest velocity is 0, 0 velocity because slope of the line is 0 and it has some initial displacement, it has some initial displacement x0. Okay, it has some initial displacement. Okay, so when you say when you see a displacement time graph and you see it is a straight line, either coinciding with the time axis or parallel to the time axis, it means the object is at rest, zero velocity because slope of the line is zero. And if it is at a certain height above the time axis, it means it has some initial displacement, which is in this case. Then another graph is this. So, here same thing, there are different colors, different uh, displacement time graphs here. So, see here, this red one which is coinciding with the time axis, it means zero velocity because slope of the line is zero. This one, this uh, deep blue one, this one, here the slope 
is slightly less this slope let us call it theta 1 theta 1 is slightly less so it means always remember from displacement time graph slope is velocity ok tan theta so here theta 1 value is less so it has a smaller value of uniform velocity here this slope is slightly greater theta 2 is slightly greater than theta 1 so it has a higher value of constant uniform velocity here the slope is negative it is small of course but the slope here is negative here the slope is negative but it has a small value magnitude direction wise it is negative as velocity is a vector we know velocity is a vector so it can have negative value okay it can have negative value but magnitude wise it is less and here let us call it theta 3 and here okay this one here here it has a higher value ok it has a higher value and it is in the negative direction and negative velocity but it has a higher magnitude ok so this is the thing so velocity it can have negative values ok it can have negative values because it is a vector quantity and uh, the slope it gives us information about the uh, magnitude of the velocity and also the negative or positive uh, direction negative slope means negative you know negative velocity then from the velocity time graph which is uh, for uniform motion constant velocity slope is constant means velocity is constant these are all displacement time graphs for uniform motion ok x versus t displacement versus time graphs which we have studied this one is velocity time graph as velocity is constant for uniform motion it will be a straight line the velocity time graph will be a straight line parallel to the time axis and if we want to determine the total displacement during this time duration simply where it stops we have to determine the time ok the time for the journey from this point to this point ok and we have to multiply these two we know x is equal to vt for uniform motion so this is simply the area of this rectangular region ok this so for the velocity time graph for uniform motion the area under the graph under the you know this gives us information about the displacement total displacement and for any specific duration let us say between two points t1 and t2 if this time interval is delta t then the displacement during this is given by v into delta t ok this because it is moving with constant velocity ok so this here we have discussed about uniform motion in a straight line the graphical analysis of uniform motion in a straight line Okay?